When you reflect on our discussions over time, what you see on the surface are discussions about history and religion and theology and law and science and symbology. What we are doing and what we have been doing is dealing with something known as psychodynamics. Now, Freud, if you're not familiar with Freud, he was considered a psychoanalyst. Uh, Freud was an Austrian physician, and he's pretty much considered the father of psychodynamics. And one of the things that Freud was so good at, it's like he's that guy, <laughs> he was so good at picking up on subtleties and framing things in terms of undercurrents. He was very focused on looking at forces at work or forces at play. And so that's that dynamic part of his theory. And so, of course, he was also focused on uh, psychology, along with some other theorists, such as Jung. And so what we've been doing is we've been looking at the subtleties, the undercurrents, and the forces at work. And so it makes sense for our continuing discussions to uh, have a framework. And the framework is going to be Freudian minutes. So as we start off with Freudian minutes number one, this is our number one episode, I want to encourage you to also share what you see as subtleties, undercurrents, and forces at work with respect to the dynamics that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to start our Freudian minutes looking at this motto or this construct. It's in Latin and it's ordo ab cow. We're going to not only break it down, but we're going to look at what's under this phrase, ordo ab cow. So we are looking at the subtleties and we are looking at the forces at play with respect to this very simple phrase. So for our analysis of the psychodynamics, what we're going to do is just look at the basic translation first for this ordo ab cow. And what you see when you break it down according to words versus a phrase, you have the specifics of ordo ab cow coming out as in the English order from chaos. And here you can see ordo ab cow and the equivalent, which is ordo from cow. And so essentially what is being said here is order from chaos. Now there tends to be a focus on the construct of order and the construct of chaos. However, what's also important is the preposition from. And so that's what we're going to be also addressing, not simply order and chaos, but this construct of from. Now for clarity, it's important to keep in mind that this motto goes along with a particular organization and this motto is found on the front cover of one of the books of this organization. And so what we are also looking at here is this idea of chaos. And so before we go deep into the deconstruction, we just want to look at this construct of chaos. And I want to remind you that set is synonymous with chaos. And so his name, another way of saying set is simply saying chaos, which is very interesting because set also means the antithesis of chaos. And so what you see here is, as a reminder, Set was the Egyptian god of war, chaos, and storms. And so keep that in mind because chaos and Set, or Seth, these constructs are interchangeable. Now oftentimes when individuals are addressing this construct of order out of chaos, there is a focus on chaos existing or chaos being created and then order 
developing subsequent to chaos and sort of the creation of the antithesis of chaos. And some people believe that this motto involves the actual creation of the chaos in order to have a justification for uh, some sort of reset or renewal, this creation of a new type of order. That's one way of looking at it. But of course, we are looking at the psychodynamics. And so we are looking underneath the manifest meaning. And so what we see when we look a little deeper and we look at the subtleties, we see that preposition sitting there and that from. And so what is really being said when one is saying ordo ab cow? Another way of looking at this is the idea of order starts in chaos. Mm -hmm. Order begins in chaos. Another interesting way of looking at this is the source of order is chaos. Now, something very interesting emerges with respect to this construct, this motto, when you start to look at synonyms. And so remember, set is chaos. Set, however, is also order. And so when you look at it that way, what you have is set starts in chaos. Set begins in chaos. The source of set is chaos. And so that's the same as saying ordo ab cow. So what we ultimately see here when looking at the undercurrent is set is both ordo and cow simultaneously. And so when we are looking at ordo ab cow, we are essentially putting set on both sides of the ab. Now we are generally taught to see order and chaos as competing constructs, as really having nothing to do with each other, two ends of this spectrum. But what you see here when deconstructing it this way, looking for those undercurrents, looking for those forces at play, we see this play on words, we see this play on constructs, and what we ultimately see is What's being asserted is order equals chaos. Chaos equals order. And so we are seeing this equivalence that is under that manifest meaning of order out of chaos. And so what we are looking at here is the latent meaning of ordo ab cow. We are also seeing something else because there is an interchange here with respect to these words and these constructs. And so when we say order from chaos, we are also saying something about set. And so essentially what we are looking at is set ab set or set from set. You get set from set. Set comes from set. <laughs> and so again, you have this chaos comes from chaos, order comes from order, order comes from chaos, but you also have simultaneously chaos comes from order. So when you have an organization that has this construct as its motto, what exactly is being communicated? What is the goal? with respect to this idea of ordo ab cow. Is this simply a statement of a belief in what is, or is this a statement about aspiration? Is this an aspirational statement? Is this a statement indicating 
where one would like to see things go? Or is this a motto that is simply indicating that this is what has been created or what is in play in terms of the forces in play? Um, what is this construct really all about? Again, on the surface, we have this idea of things not being in order and then moving to a place of order. However, when we look under this, we see that there is something else going on. And we see that a part of it looks a little aspirational, sort of like a mission statement. And so what is that mission statement really all about when you consider the undercurrent? 